On October the 7th, 2019, I was diagnosed with breast cancer. Um, I was by myself when it happened, and my kids were with some family members nearby. I was out of town, and so um, upon hearing that news, I had to process all that on my own. So a lot of tears, a lot of emotions, um, a lot of anger, a lot of why me, and then um, the Lord just immediately put a piece over me. Um, a song came on the radio and just um, it swept over me to let me know that this is he's gonna take care of me. Um, I did genetic testing, it does run in my family and upon that um, my BRAC genes were okay but I had a mutation and so that was a confirmation on um, going ahead with a double mastectomy and um, that was a hard surgery. We had a group of friends uh, show up and just pray over us and, and comfort us during that time. But um, after the surgery, um, they discovered it was in my lymph node. So I had a second surgery um, within a couple weeks to remove all the lymph nodes. And that determined that I'd have to have chemo and radiation. So 2020 was filled with a lot of that on top of COVID and everything else that, um, that was sent our way. But continually, just through people and the support, um, the emotions would hit and, and hills and valleys, I guess you'd say, but um, they never overwhelmed us. We truly felt at peace. Um, the Lord put the verse on 112.7 in front of us and it says they confidently trust in the Lord to take care of them. They don't fear bad news. And so it felt like we were continually getting bad news, but we didn't have to fear that. And so he was continually taking care of us. And so even upon finishing radiation and celebrating that, um, completion. We knew that there was more to face. So this past January 21, I had um, my first of reconstruction surgery. That was a hard, hard recovery. And, and I'm dealing with more that I'll have to face in the future. But it seems like with each and every step, I mean, we have just been um, surrounded with support and comfort and just really know that it's all going to work out for the good. I'm very thankful for the donors of the AJGA and those who um, wanted to support this foundation and, and asked about doing that. But it was so special because the people that rallied around us immediately after uh, my first surgery put together a golf tournament. Knowing that that's our life, it was, that was the community that we were around. And so um, they helped meet some of those immediate needs that we were scared about. And so doing this going forward, making it kind of the kickoff, I guess you'd say, of the foundation and, and, um, and starting that, it, it's a beautiful thing to me because I think this is where we are. This is our community. This is what our world is. My son plays and, and Mickey being um, a golf pro, it just, it fits perfectly. The biggest supporter has definitely been my husband. Um, upon the desire hitting me to do something um, and sharing that with him, he uh, made it very clear that he was behind me 100%. Both of us kind of went, we don't know what that means. We're not familiar with all the things that a foundation entails, but um, God has clearly laid it out in every single way. Uh, Mickey has been there to um, support and say, let's go, we'll do whatever it takes. So I'm very thankful to have a supportive husband who can um, walk with me through the unknown. I pray um, that each and every person that gets any um, uh, gift or uh, financial gift or whatever it may be from the foundation, I pray that they know they're not alone. I, um, I will be putting Psalm 112.7, that verse that I quoted in front of every single person and letting them know they don't have to fear the bad news. There's someone who loves them. And, and so I want them to be encouraged. I want them to know that they're supported. Um, I want to help alleviate um, that lonely feeling that can hit you in the middle of a chemo treatment or in the middle of um, healing after a long surgery. I want them to know there's somebody who cares and who's thinking of them. So I, I pray that many lives are touched. I hope our kids for years to come, long past me, continue this legacy to encourage and support people who go down this hard journey of cancer.